Hello and welcome back to our channel guys and today we are going to do the match review of Manchester United vs Chelsea. Manchester United defeated Chelsea by 2 goals to 1. Scott McTominay scored both goals for United as they bounced back from defeat at Newcastle at the weekend. Cole Palmer equalized the first goal for Chelsea but they couldn't get anything from the game and are 10th in the table. So before heading towards the match review, let's take a look on the starting lineups. Manchester United head coach Eric Ten Hag played this game with a 4-2-3-1 formation, in which he started Andrea Onana at goal, Diego Delort at right back, Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof were the two centre-backs and Luke Shaw started this game at left back. Scott McTominay and Sofiane Amrabat were the two defending midfielders, Bruno Fernandes started this game as a central attacking midfielder, Anthony at right wing, Garnacho at left wing and Rosmus Holland started this game as a centre forward. While Chelsea head coach Mauricio Pochettino played this game with 4-2-3-1 formation, in which he started Robert Sanchez at goal, Mark Kokorea at right back, Axel de Sassi and Thiago Silva were the two centre-backs and Luis Colville started this game at left back. Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez were the two defending midfielders. Cole Palmer started this game as a central attacking midfielder. Raheem Sterling started this game at right wing. Mikhailo Modric at left wing and Nicolas Jackson started this game as a centre forward. Now let's head on to match review. Scott McTominay Brace helped Manchester United to a 2-1 win over Chelsea in a chaotic encounter at Old Trafford. McTominay finished from a rebound in the first half and headed home at the back post in the second to earn his team all three points, but could easily have had a hat-trick missing other good chances and being denied by a brilliant double save in the first half. Missed opportunities were a feature of a bizarrely uncontrolled match as both teams afforded the opposition attack acres of space in the final third. Bruno Fernandes saw an early penalty saved by Robert Sanchez after Anthony was adjudged to have been fouled in the box by Enzo Fernandes by VAR and United failed to convert a number of other golden opportunities in the match, registering 28 attempts but just 9 on target crossed the 90 minutes. Chelsea equalised just before the break thanks to an excellent Cole Palmer finish following a jinking run across the edge of the box, and the Blues could have had more goals of their own, with Nicolas Jackson and Mikhailo Modric particularly wasteful, with the visitors catching United repeatedly on the break. But Eric Ten Hag's side held for a much-needed morale-boosting three points, as Chelsea slipped even further away from the business end of the table. Now let's head on to the match stats. Manchester United took a total of 28 shots in which 9 of them were on target, while Chelsea took a total of 13 shots in which 3 of them were on target. Manchester United had 44% of possession, while Chelsea had 56% of possession. Now let's take a look at the Premier League standings. Arsenal is at first with 36 points, Liverpool at second with 34 points, Aston Villa at third with 32 points, Manchester City at fourth with 30 points, Tottenham at fifth with 27 points and Manchester United at sixth with 27 points. So that's all for today guys, I hope you guys like this video, subscribe my channel and give your opinions in the comment section down below. Thank you.